Welcome in. How can I help you? Okay, yeah. Just looking for something for a sleepover. Oh my gosh, that sounds like so much fun. Do you have any, like, anything specific or... Okay, some stuff from a couple categories. Stuff from a couple categories. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I can totally do that. Um, well, since you're not really sure on like specific titles and stuff, do you mind if we go through what's here from the rentals to put away? Cool, cool. Sorry, my bracelet is just um, getting tangled in one another. <laughs> yeah, apparently don't wear pony beads with whatever this kind of bracelet's called. <laughs> no. Um, okay, well, how many movies are you wanting? Okay, so a good selection to sort of just choose from, from a couple different categories. Honestly, that's really smart. Yeah, I think so. Okay, well, I'll just grab a stack here, I guess. Uh, so first one we've got here is Mermaids. It's, I would say a wonderful sleepover movie if you've never seen it. Yeah, it's got Cher in it. I know, right? Um, and while well, the other actresses are Winona Ryder, and they don't have the little girls on, the, on here, but I don't, I don't think I've seen her in anything else. Um, yeah, so the description is Academy Award winner Cher is the free spirited and decidedly unconventional Miss Flax. The original liberated woman. She's sexy, sassy, brassy, and more than just a bit exasperating, especially to her daughters. Charlotte, Winona Ryder, is a hormonal 15-year-old desperate to be a nun even though the family's Jewish, and a 9-year-old Kate, Christina Ritchie, is an aspiring swimming champ who practices in the bathtub. The guy with a heart of gold, Lou Lansky, Bob Hoskins, tries to turn this wacky trio into a family as they careen through romantic escapades and unusual encounters. It's really good. Yeah. I think this would definitely be a win. Okay, I'll well, put this right here. We'll start category piles so that you can see like The next we have is Spy Kids. Um, it's pretty fun, even though it's like a, a, a children's movie. Um, there's something really interesting about it, I think, for anyone of any age. And there's a lot of like, um, there's a lot of people in this movie, so you definitely might know someone. Yeah, well, it's basically about these two kids who find out that their parents are spies and basically enroll themselves into the same spy academy. Yeah, there's a lot more to it, but um, it's definitely, <laughs> that's basically like the gist of it. But it's it's a lot of fun. I, I think it's a lot of fun. Um, so if you want something a little more lighthearted, you don't have to pay like too much attention to. It's also not not too serious. Yeah. Put that here. Yeah, mermaids is definitely different. <laughs> um, it would be one that you don't sort of want to pay attention to in terms of like. Um, I just think it's one of those movies that is just so interesting in every aspect. I mean, Spike is, is too as well, but it's still first um, a children's movie, so not every single aspect to it is 
is serious and has meaning to it, the way that mermaids sort of does. Yeah. Um, another fun movie, sort of along the lines of Spy Kids, is Space Jam. Okay, someone mentioned this one. It's really fun. Yeah, it is Looney Tunes sort of come to the real world. <laughs> oh my gosh. And there's aliens and um, basketball. Yeah. I know, he's in like everything these days. So yeah. Okay, so I'll put this one here. I'll just keep putting it at the top since you're, you want to get that one for sure. Okay, we'll put it over here then. Oh, so this is a good one. This is um, Power Rangers, the first Power Rangers human movie, not in, not the cartoon, not the cartoon. Uh, this is, oh wait, this might not be a movie, this might be an episode. No, this is the movie, okay. Yeah, this is the movie. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a great movie. My favorite was always Kimberly. Um, yeah. Of course, she's the Pink Ranger, but I love the Pink Ranger. Oh, wow. Look at the. That's fun. Yeah, that's really fun. But this is a fun movie. It's, it's nice to have on if you want, like, background noise. Um, yeah, really silly, you know. But really good. It's the remake. Yes. Um, it's cute. It's really cute. Um, the ballet scene is one of my favorites. It, yeah, this one is definitely one that I think people would stop what they're doing and pay attention to the movie just because it's so like fun and silly. Um, it, it's definitely a winner, I think. All the little kids are like adorable and it's just so funny. It's so funny. And it has um special guest appearance of Reba, if you know. Yeah. I know really random, but <laughs> this one. I highly recommend Rascals. As well as Mermaids, actually. These two I really do recommend. I'll put them together for you. What else? Well, we do have Jurassic Park here. It's a little beat up. Um, so you will get this one cheaper because of the packaging. But um, yeah, they're all rentals, but you can buy some if you would like. Um, have you seen Jurassic Park? It is kind of scary, yeah, it is kind of scary, but it's, it's really good. I think it would be one of those movies that you put on, like, when it's finally dark outside and you're, like, eating dinner and you want something to, like, you know, curl up and, like, watch. I think this would be wonderful for that. Oh, yeah. It would definitely be a winner, even though it's... That's scary, but um, this one is um, Indiana Jones Raiders of the Lost Ark. So, although I really like Indiana Jones, um, I don't know if it would be a winner for everyone, but I do think it is an interesting movie. Yeah. Um, I guess one that you could have on. So if you know they like this sort of thing, then yeah, yeah. Okay, put this one right here. Let's see what else. Um, oh, this 
is a good one. Um, this is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie um, by Jim Henson. Yes, he did the Muppets movie, or he is the creator of the Muppets. And um, he did the 1986 movie The Labyrinth with David Bowie. One of my favorite movies. Yeah, probably my number one favorite movie of, of all time. Um, but this is very definitely up there in the top ten. Um, so, because it's Jim Henson and you know he does the Muppets, um, they're full, full puppet sort of deal. Um, but it's really cool and it, it they look sort of real, but it's yeah, it's, oh my gosh, it's just so, so funny, so amazing, definitely worth watching, yeah, definitely quotable, um, and something that will have people remembering your slumber party forever, mm -hmm. like, oh, I watched that at a slumber party, and it was a great slumber party, because I had this movie, <laughs> old. I wouldn't blame you. It's a must watch. Let's see. There's another, um, another nerdy movie. Uh, this is the Ewok Adventure. So, from the creator of Star Wars and Indiana Jones, George Lucas. So, yeah, sort of along the same lines of if they like this sort of thing, definitely get it. But, not everyone does, unfortunately, but it certainly is really fun and interesting. Yeah, it is sort of ones that you would want to pay attention to, um, if you care. <laughs> but, cause like, if you don't pay attention to, then you're really kind of lost. You know, the dialogue is really important in, important in these movies. Um, yeah. But it is good, it is a good one. Maybe not for a sleepover, but I do recommend it. Um, just in general. Yeah. Uh, what else? Oh. I'll show you these two. Uh, I mean, of course, we do have princess movies if you want any other princess movies. They're a good background, I guess. Um, if, you have, if you're just that kind of group, you know, good to sing along with. If you want Disney movies, or are definitely good for that. Hercules, Hercules is great if you want to sing along throughout the slumber party. <laughs> um, let's see what else. I think this one, um, E.T. would be a really good sleepover movie actually. Kind of on the same level as Jurassic Park. Some people might find it scary, but I think it's really cute, personally. I, I really loved this movie when it came out. Yeah. Um, well, if you're worried that people might have nightmares, then I would definitely choose E.T. over Jurassic Park. But Jurassic Park is really good. It is really good if you want to have that, like, traumatic, scary movie blind <laughs> over the sleepover. Um, okay, and these two are really good. I'm surprised a lot of people don't actually, like, this movie is just so underrated in my opinion. Um, it's Oliver and Company. It is a Disney movie. Um, Masterpiece definitely applies. One of the greatest movies ever. Um, so it's about this little kitten in New York City, and he meets these, like, stray dogs. It's just so amazing. So amazing. Okay, I can read you the... Yeah, I'll read you the description. So... Disney's hip high energy tale begins in the concrete canyons of New York City, 
where Oliver, an adorable orphaned kitten, is befriended by Dodger, a carefree mutt with a certain street se savior fare. The mischievous, the mischievous little cat is welcomed by Dodger's pack of pickpocket pooches, including dim-witted Einstein, ravishing Rita, and live-wire Tio. This ragtag family of misfits runs into trouble when evil mastermind Sykes, aided by his two daunting Dobermans, schemes to kidnap the lonely rich girl who just adopted Oliver. It's up to the brave kitten and his newfound friends to race to the rescue in an electrifying chase through the city's subway system, boasting five outstanding original songs from Billy Joel, Bette Midler, and Huey Lewis. Seriously, the first song, Chef's Kiss, amazing. It's a little sad in the beginning, I'm not gonna lie, but then like the song definitely takes you out of that whole like, sad feeling. I totally recommend it. Yeah. Okay. And then this one, if you've never seen it, I think it's also a must watch. It's Jumanji by Robin Williams. Amazing. So, I'll read you this description too. <laughs> When a young Alan Parrish discovers a mysterious board game, he doesn't realize its unimaginable powers until he is magically transported before the startled eyes of his friend Sarah into the untamed jungles of Jumanji. There he remains for 26 years until he is freed from the game's spell by two unsuspecting children. Now a grown man, Alan Robin Williams, reunites with Sarah Bonnie Hunt, and together with Judy Gerson Dunst and Peter Bradley Pierce, tries to outwit the game's powerful forces in this imaginative adventure that combines breathtaking special effects with an enchanting mixture of comedy, magic, and thrills. Okay, so this one is one of those like have you on the edge of your seat type movies where you never know what like the next thing is gonna happen. It's insane, but it's great. It's so wonderful. I do recommend this one. <laughs> um, and I mean, it's Robin Williams. Who doesn't love Robin Williams, am I right? Yeah. Why, you already know what you want? Yeah? Um, what about any of these ones up here? talking about your sleepover for decades. Okay, well I will go ahead and get you checked out, okay? for one week, so next week um, you'll have to bring them back unless you want to extend the rental, but you'll have to bring them back for that, you know? Um, but yeah, you've got them for one week and then if you don't bring them back, you will have to pay like a dollar, but still you, you will have to pay okay? You have a lovely sleep sleepover, I think you're gonna have an amazing time yeah, okay bye